Hi there, and let's get to it. Today we're looking at four-point editing and replacing clips. We found out that three-point editing is when you use any three in and out points to establish either a duration of your source or a duration of the timeline in order to lay down a clip. So four-point editing just implies an additional point. We're going to have in and out points indicated inside of our source material, as well as in and out points in the timeline. DaVinci Resolve has given us this wonderful function called fit to fill and what it does is it remaps the timing on your source material to fit into the in and out points specified on the timeline. So let's take a look at a few examples. I'm going to go into my video sources and I'm just going to very quickly lay down a few clips on my timeline. I'm going to find a clip that's got a bit of motion in it. And this clip is relatively long. I can see that the selection that I've made is eight seconds at the top here. I'm going to indicate in and out points on my timeline that are significantly less than eight seconds. So let's say at 34, I drop an out point. And I want this section of the footage to fit into those four seconds. I won't find my four point editing controls inside of the regular toolbar, but if I click on the Edit menu and I go into the Insert Overwrite Action, there's a few additional options, all with their own shortcuts. So I'm going to click on Fit to Fill. As we remember, it's Shift, I, and O to see the beginning and end. And you can see that the clip has indeed gone from that beginning to that end in a much shorter period of time. If I was to play this back right now, I'll see that it's been fast forwarded significantly. The icon in the bottom left corner of the clip also demonstrates that a time remapping has occurred. If I was to right click on this clip and select retime clip or control R as the shortcut, I'll reveal the speed change controls and at the bottom I have a confirmation that the clip is playing at 280% its original speed. I've got a clip here that's panning across and I might decide that even though I like how it looks, it might be occurring too quickly. In that case, I can take this four second clip and indicate in and out points that are much further apart on my timeline. So in this case, I'm going to double the duration, so it's gonna end up at 42, cool. And again, I'm going to select Edit, Insert Overwrite Action, and Fit to Fill. When I play this back on the timeline, we can tell the action and the audio are much slower. It's a little bit choppy because of the retime process, but if I turn on my inspector, I can always go back and raise the quality of this playback. So then the second thing we're looking at today is the replacement tool, which is somewhat simpler. All you have to do is place your playhead over a clip in the timeline Click X to automatically drop in and out points around the clip. Select your new clip, and as is the case with three-point editing, you only need to indicate a single in or out point on the new clip. And then you can choose to insert or overwrite. In the case of overwrite, this original clip has now been replaced by the new one. You can do this for multiple clips, simply by clicking and dragging across them. Clicking Shift-A, to place in and out points around your selection and then doing something similar. In point in my source viewer and overwrite to replace all three clips. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.